Okay guys, the kids are dropped off and now it is time for what I'm hoping is my last doctor's appointment of this pregnancy before we go in for our induction in just seven days. <laughs> Okay, doctor's appointment is over. Um, everything is good. I'm only dilated to like a one and a half. My cervix is soft, which is a first for me with both of the other kids. <clears throat> My cervix didn't really get ripe. Um, but we're set to go for the induction. They said that they're just gonna start me on Pitocin and then probably whip, break my water and then we'll just go from there so if he doesn't come before then 8 a.m. Wednesday and we will be having a baby sometime that day hopefully it only takes that long when he checked me it's a little bit pressure I'm a little bit crampy now but that's to be expected and everything looks good there's still plenty of fluid I've been kind of worried because I feel like I've been leaking but I've had my water break before it doesn't feel like that it's just kind of there so he said that there's plenty of fluid still so we're good all right now on with the rest of the <laughs> sorry guys now on with the rest of the day so since then I'm about 38 and a half weeks and um, everything's been going good I do feel like he's kind of dropped and then come back up and dropped and come back up a couple times I had some contractions the other night um, and they led into the morning and, but then they stopped so I think he's just progressing there's a couple times I can feel like his head sinking down into my pelvis and um, yeah but also if you guys didn't know one of the signs that you're starting to progress towards labor is that you poop a lot and your poop is not hard thank goodness but um i never had that with either of my other kids in fact with brooklyn i know there are some of you that are afraid to poop while you're in labor i promise you you won't care i did with brooklyn i knew that i probably would because i could not um have a bowel movement for like two or three weeks before i had her um but nobody said anything i knew that i had done it only because I could smell it which is gross but I asked Curtis and he's like yeah you did but um, they cleaned it up right away and don't even notice and so there's nothing you can do about it ladies so just go with the flow you've got enough to worry about when you're in labor pooping is not one that you need to be embarrassed about the nurses have seen it all and the doctors have seen it all so yes we've got a few more days and I go in for my induction at 39 weeks. So we're hoping to get video up from the birth and so you can see the baby um, the Friday after Thanksgiving. Friday after Thanksgiving. If we don't make it, guys, I'm sorry. I do have videos all through until that day. It should be our 100th video and the baby. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and taking this journey with us. Um, I'm super excited. I'm still really nervous. Um, this being the first baby after seven years is kind of like having a new one all again and going through everything brand new again. But I'm so grateful for you guys and your support. And I can't wait to share everything with you when we're done. So hang in there. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. I'm... Surviving. Seven days. Seven days. Make it seven days.